Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to use Squarespace's new blueprint AI website builder, which got announced with the Squarespace Refresh 24. It's a super easy website builder to use. Um, I've already given it a little try. Um, so this will just be a really short, quick video. Um, if you haven't already got your Squarespace account set up, again, I'll pop a little link in the description below um, to make that nice and easy for you. Uh, Squarespace has a 14 day free trial, which is plenty of time to give this tool a try, see if you like it. I've already got mine set up, so let's go and give it a try. First stage is to come to the Squarespace website and click get started. Um, if you followed the link in the description, then that's nice and easy. Um, and it will bring you to the template library. If you select a template, that is the traditional way of creating a Squarespace site, but we want to test its AI builder. So I'm gonna click get started. I see that we are in the blueprint AI builder up here in the left hand corner. We know we're in the right place. Um, and the first stage is to enter your site title. Um, I'm going to go with amazing apparel. Um, you can see there are five stages down here on the bottom. There's a nice progress bar there. Um, and now we need to choose a brand personality. So there's seven to choose from. Um, I'm gonna click playful. And if you pay attention to that left-hand um, text sample, you'll see that it creates demo text to sort of reflect the um, brand personality that you've chosen. Definitely have a little cycle through these um, if you're not sure quite yet what your brand personality um, will be. I'm gonna go with playful because I quite like that for my apparel website. Then you just click next. Up is um, building your home page. So Squarespace um, is really handy actually. It um, gives you some recommended sections based on the kind of website that you're building. Um, so it recommends an intro section to start with. Um, and what wasn't immediately obvious to me the first time I used this is that you can actually engage with this left hand um, preview section. So you can choose the layouts that you like the most. Um, so definitely have a little look through these. Um, I quite like this one because it's got a CTA um, for sort of selling my products on my apparel site. But obviously go with what best suits your business needs. Next, I'm um, going to click product section. And again, you go through, um, choose the one that you like the best. Feel free to obviously select any of these that you want featured on your home page. I'm also going to choose an about section. Um, go for one of those, a social section. Quite like this with the rolling text, it looks pretty snazzy. Um, I would like a contact form on my home page. Really important that my users can get in touch with me um and a footer i'm going to go for one that's got my site title in great and then i'm going to click next so next up we're going to add pages to our website so we've sorted out our home page and now we want to think about what other kinds of um, site pages we want to feature um, it's already selected an about page and a contact page which i think is great um, it also recommends a shop which makes sense for my kind of website um, you can scroll through here um, obviously if you have services appointments or you're offering online courses then you want to select one of those as well and we click through to next and we've got our color palette here. So now that our color palette has loaded, um, we want to choose um, some colors that reflect our brand personality. And you can see that's why Squarespace has split this um, into the different brand personalities. Um, mine are playful, so I'm gonna have a little cycle through these. Some things that you wanna pay attention to are obviously your background color, whether you like that, um, but also the text color, whether it's got high enough contrast for you, um, and finally, your CTA color. Um, so I really like this one. because It's got a high contrast with that pink against the sort of pastel background. Um, and this darker color here is a secondary um, CTA color. So I'm going to go with these um, and click next. We want to choose fonts for our website. Um, you can see, again, it's split it into brand personalities for us. Um, and it gives you two per personality. 
Um, so definitely check out these first and see if you like them. If you don't like either of the ones that it's recommended for your particular brand, um, definitely have a scroll through the others. I would say make sure that it aligns with your branding so far. So for example, I've chosen Playful. I would probably steer clear of the professional and the sophisticated fonts because they're not really going to match the rest of my branding. But I would scroll down and I'd check out the friendly um, and the quirky um, personality fonts and see if they um, fit with the rest of my styling, which as you can see, um, it does fit pretty well. Um, so once you've done this, you just wanna scroll down and click finish. So with Blueprint AI, it's really done all the hard work for us in setting up our site. Um, I will say there'll still be things to finish off um, in the editor, but it's done all the hard work for us, especially if you're not too confident with these sorts of design choices, or if you just need a good looking site up quite quickly. Um, that's been such a quick and easy process of getting a site to this point. Like I think it looks great. It's all following the same branding. Um, it's cohesive and it's pretty slick. Um, so definitely make some final changes before you hit publish. You're gonna want to come through and update your own text. You're gonna wanna add your own images. Um, and I also recommend adding some extra sections. This helps give your site quite a unique feel um, and make sure that it's not too generic um, amongst all the other sites that are also being generated with this tool. 